Hello everyone. Today I am going to start second part of previous chapter and topic of uh, previous chapter was grassland. And in last chapter we have discussed about what is grassland, what is the location of grassland, what are the different different types of grassland and uh, related to their continents. Huh? So today I am going to continue that same chapter with second part. So in this uh, second part we will discuss about what kind of different different lives are found there. And lives are three types there: plant life, animal life, and human life. One by one we will discuss about all these three topics. So first topic is plant life. It means that what kind of plant life is found there? What kind of plants are being grown there by the people? So uh, if the soil of temperate grassland is very fertile. It means that the soil is very fertile for growing different different kinds of crops. That is why different different kind of agricultural activity take place. And this is the good reason that the crops are growing very well and in very good huge quantity. The soil is home for many small living creatures such as worms, insects. It means that inside the soil, so many numbers of insects and worms are living. That is the best place for their living, and that is called the best home for these creatures. And these regions have been converted into agricultural land. That is why prairies of North America is called wheat basket of the world. Yes, that is the reason. Due to the excellent fertility of the soil. This America, this northern part of America, North America is called wheat basket of the world because North America is that part of the world which is a huge producer of wheat. Second topic is animal life. What kind of animals do we find there? Yes, actually we find different different kinds of animals there. The grassland are home to variety of rodents. Yes, grassland is the place best place for rodents. And what are rodents? Rodents are those animals which draw their food from the front teeth. And uh, rodents examples are rabbit, rat, mice. So uh, other animals such as prairie dog, hamsters, antelope, wallabies are found there. So different different kinds of other animals are also. Found there, the bison. Yes, the bison is one of the exceptional and protected animal, which are very less in number. That is also found in prairies grassland. Third topic is human life. Human life is means now we will discuss about that how people are living there, what kind of people are living there also. Because especially I am going to putting my stress on tribal people. Human life, life of people. Are mainly based on agriculture. As we know that uh, these grasslands are very well because due to the fertility of soil and different different kind of agricultural activity takes place here. So people are mainly based on agricultural activities. Livestock farming is popular here. Yes, livestock farming means life keeping animals, and animals are kept here for different different kind of purposes. Like people are obtaining milk, people are obtaining meat, and for making clothes and for different different purpose, people are keeping animals there. That kind of particular activity is called livestock farming. Yes, New Zealand is famous for dairy farm. Yes, New Zealand is a place which is famous for dairy farm. It means that uh, cows, buffaloes, and uh, Different different goats are kept here for uh, obtaining milk, and for uh, after obtaining milk, they are preparing different different kind of milk products. Pampas of Argentina is famous famous for cattle rearing. Yes, Pampas is a grassland which is located in the part of Argentina, and that is famous for cattle rearing. Cattle rearing means that feeding animal, and cowboys, especially cowboys, are hired here for rearing cattle and. These cattle are fed on fodder. Yes, fodder is a kind of food which are dried and which are used to feed these animals. So, grassland uh, in some grassland nomadic people such as Kyrgyz, the Hottentots are found. First of all, before explaining this line, I would like to tell you that who are tribal people. Actually, tribal people are those nomadic people who don't have their own settled home. They are moving one place to another place in search of food and shelter. They don't have their permanent settlement. So these are some special um, kind of uh, group of people who are called tribal people, and especially they are Kyrgyz, the Kyrgyz, and the Hottentots. But now, as time has been passed, lot new technologies has been built, has been developed. So these people have settled their life in different different cities and in different different towns. Now let me discuss about some keywords. Cowboy. For cowboy are the hired people. Those who are um, hired for taking care of animals and cattle. Next is fodder. Second, yes, this one is fodder. Fodder is a coarse kind of food. Coarse means dried food for animals. Rodent, yes, rodents are 
those animals which belongs to rat family and which used to gnaw their food. Gnaw means bite their food from the front teeth. Yes. Tribe. Tribe means ki those people who don't have their settled home, who don't have their settled life, they keep moving from one place to another place. So this is all about the second part of grassland. We have discussed a lot about what is grassland, where are these located and what are the different, different kinds of grassland named in different, different continent. And this is the second part. I hope you all have enjoyed this topic. Thank you. Take care.